Better get ready. Did you know? Outlaw Star takes inspiration from many different works of science fiction, in particular the Star Trek and Star Wars franchises. Gene's name is most likely taken from Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, and his last name, Starwind, is similar to Luke Skywalker, the protagonist from Star Wars. His boy genius partner's name, James Jim Hawking, is strikingly similar to another treasure hunter named Jim Hawkins from Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. In line with the Star Trek comparison, it could also be referenced to James T. Kirk, the captain of the original Star Trek series, who is also referred to as Jim. At Anime Next in 2003, series creator Takehiko Ito talked about this inspiration. A lot of times what I create, no matter what I create, I always look at Star Wars and Star Trek for inspiration, and I try to put myself in the shoes of the writers and creators of those shows to figure out and approach how they would approach it, how they create their world and keep everything interesting and fresh. Outlaw Star Episode 20, Cats and Girls in Spaceships, appears to pay homage to Cordwainer Smith's The Game of Rat and Dragon. In Smith's story, humanity has discovered faster-than-light travel, but it comes with great dangers. To protect themselves from monstrous aliens referred to as dragons, humans team up with cats due to their quick reflexes. They communicate telepathically back and forth as they travel through space. This mirrors Hanmio's ability to communicate with her cats on her ship, the Tororado. Despite the popularity of the anime in the West, there are a number of largely unrecognized pieces of Outlaw Star history. Though the anime was released in 1998, a rare pilot video was made in 1996, not long after the launch of the manga. While many things remained consistent, including the fact that most of the pilot footage was reused in the first episode two years later, there were some key differences. For example, the logo used in the pilot is slightly different than the iconic logo now recognized by fans. Character-wise, Hazanko and Hot Ice Hilda appear different as well. Next to Jim is a character that never actually appeared in the show, a pink bunny character who is not named. The look and sidekick role of said character would later be given to XGP's main computer, Gilliam. The most striking difference shown in the pilot is Gene's famous caster pistol. Instead of the more cylindrical shape and brown color, it takes the shape of a more traditional pistol and is gold. There is also a new story that most fans don't know about. In 2000, original character designer Takuya Saito and writer Miho Sakai came together and made a light novel, referred to by fans as El Dorado Covered with Clouds, Outlaw Star. The novel's story centers around the Outlaw Star crew pursuing a serial killer named Billy in a mining town called El Dorado. This was the last piece of Outlaw Star to come out before the various attempts at a sequel, which all would eventually lead to Angel Links. Even though the town shares the same name as Harry McDougal's spaceship, there is no connection. Speaking of the McDougal brothers, Ron and Harry, they are not only unique to the anime, but were not created by Ito. In the aforementioned Anime Next interview, Ito talked about the process of letting others work on something you created. Normally, a lot of the manga artists whose works become popular are a little bit more hands-off, and they just sell the rights to their thing. I was well aware that even though I wanted to be hands-on in the active production of the anime, I knew that time-wise I was so busy that it wouldn't happen. So I had to come to terms with it and realize you have to place a lot of it in the hands of the director. Outlaw Star has a number of Easter eggs and references. In the English dub of episode 23, Hot Springs Planet Tenre, when Toby Guerra is walking up towards the Wizard's Temple after Jean, he can be heard briefly humming, If I Only Had a Brain, from The Wizard of Oz. Also in episode 23, as Toby Guerra is caught in the train car filling with water, a barrel with a pirate pops out of it. This is a reference to the children's game Pop-Up Pirate, which was a popular Japanese children's game from the 1970s. When Jean first meets Hilda under her alias of Rachel Sweet, instead of her ID card having a date of birth in the Toward Stars calendar, it has her birth date as June 7, 1988. This is the same month and year as the debut of future retro hero story, Outlaw Star's manga predecessor. Speaking of future retro hero story, there was at one point, allegedly, an OVA in the works. After the release of an audio drama series, it's rumored that an OVA was planned to capitalize on the success of the manga. Though no official reason has ever been given, around this time there was turmoil at Katakawa involving two of the Katakawa brothers. According to Ito, this conflict led to many authors being let go, and this is also when Ito himself moved to Shueisha's Ultra Jump imprint. 
A few years later, Ito would start on another manga for Ultra Jump, about a boy who had the right to dream about the endless possibilities laid out before him. And what awaited him down the path? Only he could decide. Thanks for watching. We're Did You Know Anime, the anime trivia resource. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and share this video with all the other pirates, Federation forces, and of course, outlaws out there.